How's it going YouTube? Today we get the Boss Dude Corgi. Doesn't really look like a knife if you're just looking at it like this. I'd say this is more of a gentleman office carry. You got this green micarta with the brass plate on both sides. I believe it's brass. Got a back flipper and a front flipper. Sorry, like most of my videos lately have been boss dude, but can't help it. You got a modified drop point, the flat grind, 14C28N. It says on the website that this is a bead blasted stone washed finish. Came pretty sharp, just like all my other boss steeds. This isn't really my style of knife, but I like to support boss steed. It's a button lock. No button stick either. Good action. Decent sharpening tool, could be better. The blade. Measures in at 2.99 inches. So if you're in one of the states where you gotta carry three inches or less, this knife is for you. Let's compare it to a few other knives. Got the QB hide. And the CJRB Pyrite. It's right in between both of those, but all pretty equal. They're all in the same category, I'd say. And here's two that are exactly the same length. Pretty much the drop bear. I'd say it's just a tiny bit smaller. And the Petrified Fish Scout is pretty much dead on even with it. 7.17 inches overall. The micarta, you can fill it. It's not bad. It's got the Trek Lock system that you dong patented. So the mechanisms inside the blade. It also said the HRC 60 plus or minus 2 and 14C is not that hard to heat treat, so I assume it's right. Knife weighs in at 3.4 ounces. It's also got the same packaging as all the other ones. I'm not going to go through it again. The only thing that's different is the sticker, which is a cute little dog. Came centered. The blade is flush with the scale, which is really nice. I believe the backspacer is G10, but I'm not entirely sure. Could be my card. The, you got a hidden lantern post, which is what I like to see. Wish all knives did it this way. The pocket clip is a deep carry, but non reversible, which might suck for some people. Um, this screw on both sides and the pivot screw is T8 and pocket clip is T6. This has got the same pocket clip as all the other boss dudes. It's flush with inset screws, which is really nice. The screws look really nice too. Now I wish they would have moved it up and used this screw for the pocket clip, but it's still good. Only about that much will stick out of your pocket. As you can see, really good machining. It's really tight tolerances. So if your blade's off a little bit, it's gonna rub. Now this knife is probably not for everyone. Like I said, it's not my favorite design, but it is interesting and unique. Front flipper works good over the top. 
It's got just enough jimping on it. The back flipper works really good as well. Blade stock was 2.9, 2.91 is what I got, or, or 1, 0.115 inch. Yep, I think that's all I got wrote down. Now, if you like this, uh, I believe they sold out really quick. They have more coming, so you just have to check the Boss T website. $59 retail. Good price. Boss T knocks it out of the park again. So if you like this video, subscribe. See you on the next one.